Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Clay Wong and today we have a very special car in store for you and I think you guys are going to absolutely love it because it is a very rare example. It's only one of 200 in the world and one of only 25 here in Australia and guys it is none other than this ridiculous Toyota GR Corolla Marito Edition. This thing is insane. Wow, I can't believe this thing is right here. This thing is an icon and oh Alster. Oh, hi. Hey man, how are you? Bye. Good to meet you, you man. Too, man. Man, this car is crazy. Yeah. Can you tell us Look at it. a little bit about it? I'll oh, come down. Yeah, thank you, man. A um, little bit short out here. A little bit short, yeah. <laughs> one of 25 in Australia. One of 23 to be delivered to customers though. Um, because wow. uh, Toyota Australia kept one for themselves. Okay. And um, Harry Bates rally driver, I believe he has one as well. And so yeah, it's a very very rare car at the I, moment. I think the question everyone wants to know is, how did you get this car in your hands? Yeah, well, uh, good question. <laughs> uh, how much money did you pay? <laughs> yeah, we had to basically put our name down and go yep. through a basic, uh, like a vetting process. They looked at our purchase history of previous Toyotas because I do track days and that sort of thing. That was a big plus for them as well. Awesome. So, and we're definitely going to take this out on track as well, for sure. which I'm really excited about. And clearly you drive it. It's out here in the wild, yeah. in the wilderness. So, so about 700 k's so far. 700 or, yeah, k's. And you just pick us up, right? Yeah, we've only had it a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, nice. So it's another 300 k's until our uh, 1,000 k run-in, and then we can okay. give it the full bangs after that. It. So yeah. hopefully out here we'll clock 1,000. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, this thing is insane, and it's also funny because the GR Corolla Marita, it's a really long name, but it doesn't have any badging whatsoever no. to tell you that it's a special. You've really, got to know what edition. you're looking for. Yeah, this. it's I'm basically. Give it away. Yeah, <laughs> but that's Alistair's touch. But apart from that, guys, it is. Very, if you know, you know, which I really like. Mm. It doesn't scream at you. But also the price tag on the Marito is but, quite a bit more than yeah. the standard GR. Yep. yep, but I mean, hey, you pay for that in exclusivity. So exactly I guess, right. uh, and things these days aren't cheap. So yeah, price of milk, price of fuel, all that. So price of GR Corolla Marito. <laughs> well, this is essentially guys, the GT3 RS of <laughs> Toyota Corolla uh, GR. So. Yeah. yeah. It looks um, really tough though as it is. This is the standard GR Corolla form, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Very um, aggressive indeed. Yeah, so if we just walk around the car here. These wheels look awesome though. Yeah, so these are the same as um, the ones on the uh, Yari, uh, Yari. These are the same <laughs> as the ones on the Yaris Rally Edition. They yeah. are a BBS forged rim. They're wrapped in cup too. So you yeah, know this so thing is a track car, right? Pretty serious tyre there, yeah. Uh, not so good in the wet or cold conditions, but when they heat up, <laughs> they stick, to the, stick to the road like you know what. There's a specific seat in the Maritzo Edition. It's oh, a little it's more sweet. hugging. Alcantara. And yeah, Alcantara steering wheel, Al Alcantara uh, gear knob and handbrake. And it's also missing a lot of stuff that was in the regular Corolla so it doesn't have sat nav it doesn't have uh, wireless charging it doesn't have heated seats right. heated steering wheel all those little creature comforts that are probably not needed anyway yeah they've all been turfed out in the name of weight saving so we've got a Whoa, no rear seats no rear seats we've got a reinforced bar here at the back there's another bar here at the back oh, as well like a strut um, brace like for a, the rear yeah almost so just, awesome. to, just to stiffen the chassis up as well. I can't believe it has no rear seats. Yeah, it's a little yeah. bit strange having all that space, and but it's actually quite practical. Yeah, you can fit a, I can fit tell. a few things in the back there. So that's a good little uh, wagon. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> um, this back end, though, one of my yeah. favourite aspects. About yeah, it's pretty, the Corolla. pretty fat looking. Um, so no rear windscreen wiper. Also, probably the biggest uh, difference as well. Carbon fibre roof. So that's a Stunning. plastic carbon. Yeah, it's like even just touching it, you can tell how light it is. It feels feel it. so good. Yeah. I really like the triple exhaust. It looks like yeah, I was it means of, business. I was kind of a bit sort of looks a little bit funny at the start, but yep. yeah, it's kind of growing on me. Slight bump in power as well, so it's got I think 30 newton meters more torque okay. than the regular awesome. Corolla. So they just turned the boost up a little bit. Sweet. Can we check out yeah. the engine actually? Yeah, let's have a look. So guys, this engine is insane. It's a three-cylinder, 1.6 liter as well. Is that right, Alex? Yeah, so it's tiny, it's basically a motorcycle engine and they've jammed it into this all-wheel drive rally beast. Hey guys, it is all-wheel drive. It does all the crazy stuff that you know and love and it makes 222 kilowatts of power. Yeah, it's not be 221. Oh. <laughs> Near enough. Yeah. <laughs> guys, look at it. It is tiny. When this 
engine first debuted in the Yaris. Oh, what he's doing. You know, he should put a four cylinder in, but as soon as everyone's driven it and yeah. gotten behind the wheel and just gone, wow, this is a pretty special engine. I think being so small, it makes it lighter, it makes the car more nimble and agile. Yeah, that's right. You know, this car has been out, I mean, this motor has been out for three years, years now. Yeah, a couple of years now. And people yeah. have run nine seconds with the stock motor yeah, that's on the GI Yaris. That's like, that's insane. It's yeah. very capable, and guys, it just works. What a car, guys. And funnily enough, the most expensive Corolla ever released in yep. the world. Yep. And the Australian retail price is about $80,000, which is a, a lot. lot. of money, yep. It's 15,000 more than the standard GR Corolla, but yep. I think we should find out how it drives to see yep. if it's really worth. Let's cut the talking. Let's go for a drive and see what this thing is like. Let's should we it. send it? Let's send it. Let's do it, man. You drive your cars pretty hard. Uh, I like to, yeah. So Alistair is a bit of a, a track junkie. Track I guess junkie, you could call yeah, him. Yeah. He is a very spirited driver. So my first time sitting with Alistair. Hopefully not the last. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not. How does it feel to drive? Uh, quite firm, um, but it's just so pointy. Like it's just so accurate. Yeah. Every input, like there's just no off center steering sort of lag or anything. Yep. Um, and this engine's just so strong, there's just so much torque. It does have a bit of turbo lag, but that's kind of until the boost comes up like that. Yeah. <laughs> it feels extraordinarily capable. Yeah. And we're not even pushing it. We're not it even yet. pushing nah, it. Not even I think at this speed, we really need a racetrack already. Yeah, definitely. Oh man. Yes. It's so fun, even from the passenger seat, honestly. Out. Yeah, how stiff it is, is. Yeah, not a lot of travel in the suspension. And also, the Morito has a special set of suspension. Oh my god! <laughs> it really just turns into the corners yeah. effortlessly. Yeah. And like the car, it's on rails. Yeah, the car still feels kind of big though. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than the Yaris, to be honest. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But it doesn't feel like that in any way. <laughs> We're boogieing. It's a little bit of a backbreaker though, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we well, are driving down from the, the country last night, it was, yeah, especially fun. in the state of the roads at the moment, like there's so many <laughs> potholes and had to really sort of be on it and sort of tram lining a bit and yeah. and whatnot. But um and these seats are quite firm as well, but yep. but yeah, it's probably not something I'm gonna drive to Sydney and back sort of thing. Hundred so percent, I mean that's not what it's for. Just to win Sydney back. Right? Yeah, that's right. And we've uh, encountered a little bit of local traffic. Family van. A bongo van. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you don't really have to be going fast in this thing. No, nah, especially on roads like this. Like yeah. It's so tight and twisty. I feel like the car being so stiff and so tightly sprung, it makes it feel like an occasion every single time yeah, you're driving right, it. Yeah. And even like just touching this Alcantara wheel. Yeah. It's nice and thin. Yeah. It just feels like a real sort of racy. Yeah. Racing car, like you mentioned, a Porsche GT3 RS. Before. Yeah, like for kinda, sure. I get those sort of vibes. Yeah, yeah exactly. Just kind of holding the wheel, and, which is really cool. So yeah, all the touch points are very touch premium. points, are very nice. And I mean, it's pretty standard. Yeah, I was gonna say you're not you're not gonna touch this. You're gonna no. touch these components. And like the, I think the new Type R has got a much nicer interior. Oh, than beautiful! The, I love that car. One of these, but um, but still, yeah. it's a uh, different car, I think. Yeah, different yeah. car. I mean, that's a bum dragger. Uh, front wheel drive. Yeah. So on that note, would you ever sell this car? Uh, <laughs> uh, it's such a tough question, but yeah, at the moment, no. <laughs> definitely not. Uh, definitely <laughs> not. Right, guys, it is time to uh, jump in the driver's seat. So cool. good shout out to Alistair. Thank you, man. The Maurizio is looking so stunning out here. I love it in this color. Hey guys, it's finally time we jump in. Let's go. Okay, so immediately jumping in. What are your thoughts? How does it feel? The driving position feels great. It's a lot lower than the Yaris. A the Yaris, lower. a lot of people complain about yeah. the it's like seat being bus. too high. Yeah, yeah, which, yeah, it is quite high. You kind of feel like you're sitting up. This feels Whereas this is, yeah, right a bit at lower. Home, honestly, yeah. straight away. The clutch is super light, super progressive. Oh, this feels awesome already. <laughs> it feels very substantial. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It just feels, yeah, it just feels special and it doesn't, it does. it doesn't take long to Certainly. sort of, yeah. 
pick up. It feels very different to the Yaris in every aspect. Yeah. And I, I find that like baffling. Like it's a very similar of a car though. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the car feels hefty. Like the throttle pedal is quite heavy in that yeah. instance. Whereas yeah. the Yaris is just super light. It's super sort of, light. Yeah, it's yeah. super economy like. Yeah. I, I don't want to sound mean to the Yaris. Like that's yeah. an awesome car, but this yeah. feels really good. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> the power delivery is honestly instantaneous. Yeah, there is a little bit of turbo lag down there low, is. but once the turbo spools up, it's just, yeah. yeah it feels very on. rewarding to string it out there. Like, you yeah. want to do it. Yeah, yeah. And you'd be remiss if you didn't do it, yeah. honestly. It kind of evokes the uh, a little hoon driver inside of you. It kind of, it's like a little devil screaming at you, yeah. really. But honestly, this car feels night and day different than the GI Yaris for me personally. I really, really like this thing. So it's got auto blip, but my feet are wanting to do the blipping by itself. Yeah, I, I find the pedals a little, like the throttles a it's little a bit, bit far, far away from yeah. yeah from the brake. But the system's so good that I just use that anyway, so especially good. around the track. 100%. There's so much tech behind this car. It feels like, you know, in some aspect that it, it drives itself for you, but no, this car requires so much involvement. You know, the steering is quite heavy. You really, really got to steer it in. Really got to steer it. A bit yeah. of effort required, yeah. And this gearbox feels yeah. I keep trying to heal into this thing. <laughs> the gearbox feels so tight. You really got to put it into the right gear. And once you're in, you can just set off and go. Yeah, this car feels awesome. Now, we haven't really broken the speed limit at all. Oh, no, no. Yeah, that is honestly surprising. Normally in these cars, you kind of have to bring it out to enjoy it. And that's something I really don't like about modern day cars. Yeah, that's right. It just makes it feel like you always have to break the, the yep. wall really to enjoy it. But yep. this car makes it enjoyable and fun every single time. There's something about it just makes you want to be very focused when you're driving it. Yeah. I think if you're doing other things, if it has infotainment systems and all the rest of it, you'll kind of get lost in this car. Yeah. Do you yeah, find that just, as well? It just wants to be driven. Like every time I get in this or the Yaris, it just wants to be, I just want to grab it by the neck and just, you know, yeah, just, ring it out. <laughs> just ring it out, just thrash it. It's very rewarding to drive. When I was driving the Yaris out here last time in my old review, it felt too easy. But this car actually makes you work for it. I think the added weight, it just feels more solid, more put together. Yeah. The shocks feel amazing though really really compliant out here even on some bumpy ass terrain like this it feels really good guys you don't need to be going fast we're basically doing the speed limit out here we are doing the speed limit yeah. aren't we <laughs> yeah. yes that's right wow listen to it per guys and you still have to remember that this thing is only just a three cylinder 1.6 liter engine behind this special car Thank you so much, Alistair. No really worries, appreciate mate. it. Lovely Thank to meet you. you. Hope you guys have enjoyed And if you did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Let us know and Alistair know what you reckon of the GR Corolla Maruzzo. Yep. Comments below. Yeah, comments below personally. Click, click subscribe. I love that. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure Alistair loves this car as well. So hopefully yep. we see it out on the track very, very soon. I'm excited to see it as well. Yep, and guys, consider subscribing to the channel and we'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.